What's up, SMT Nation? It's been a while since I've been here, but I'm getting some work done on my car. You know, the Volvizi's getting some, some TLC here. And I've been here before, and I've tested here a couple of times, and I'm back. And if you guys remember, this is the area of town where Verizon's got the uh, ultra-wideband millimeter wave littered all over the place. So there's a node on that street, and exactly one block away, there's also one over there. All right, you guys will see it there behind that... Uh, that pole so they're, they're well represented here and the last time I was here uh, this tower site uh, I think it's a T-Mobile site it's also got AT&T on the top and well not the very top but the one right under it I'm gonna see if I could zoom in for you guys here and you'll see that it's it's received an upgrade recently it's got the DOD 3.45 gigahertz gear that square that's at the top in between the two larger antenna panels and then it's got the C-band right below it, so it's been upgraded recently. And that's actually what we're going to be testing here in this video. I'll do a separate one for the millimeter wave as an update. Uh, but we are on uh, Los Blue Death Star Access here. That's uh, the business elite access, so we're testing it. We're seeing how it performs. We're not getting an aggregation of N77 here with the two frequencies. We're just getting a single carrier uh, with um, a single frequency, so we're not getting the combination. I think some some sites, some regions are starting to see some of that with the Samsung Galaxy phones, uh, but we're not seeing it here. Uh, but this is your performance on 40 megahertz of N77, and I'm assuming there's probably 10 megahertz of low band, and then probably an additional 20 megahertz of AWS, band 66, maybe some band 12, uh, band 2 in there as well, 15 megahertz or something. All right, 35 ping, 20 jitter. 324 down and then 46 and a half up. Uh, let's see if a second test will give us a better ping or a different throughput value. Maybe we'll see. Uh, but we're real close. You know, we're we're not really testing it. F you know, for range at this moment in time. More so the fact that it's been upgraded here since the last time I was here. I was here like a year ago, right? And they hadn't done any upgrades up to that point. So it's good to see them. This is like uh, we're on West 97th. And Walford, we're on Cleveland's west side. Uh, pretty good upgrades coming in from AT&T. They're hitting it pretty good here. Uh, 292 down and 52 up on the 5G plus N77 C-band. Uh, 41 ping, 15 jitter. Um, if you guys want to see the LTE, well, let's go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and switch that for you guys just to switch the mode. doesn't take much to do this. Uh, so I just switched it to LTE. And it went into 5G. Okay, so we'll see how that's doing. Along with that upgrade, I'm sure it got like, uh, you know, the backhaul got done. I'm sure a lot of the radios got modernized as well with LT. But you'll see that it looks like a majority of the traffic here is sitting on the LT side. Those speeds should be a lot better. Uh, but I'm guessing that's where most of the traffic is around this part of town. Uh, or else we should be seeing that 5G plus kicking up a notch. Um, but the uplink is good. All right, so we got 29 ping, zero jitter. You'll see that the connection is a little bit more stable on the LTE side as they work through the 5G+. Plus. It's a new connection, and it should improve with time. All right, so 88 down and 39 up. And uh, something I wanted to show you guys here, actually. When you go to your 5G on settings, you'll see that there's an option to turn on 5G standalone. I think that's just there, and it's ready to engage whenever AT&T decides to go ahead and launch you know, their standalone 5G. Uh, so that won't be grayed out. It'll give you the option to go ahead and choose it. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be a pretty nasty battery drain. <laughs> but uh, that's probably going to be when we're going to be seeing that combination of DOD and, uh, and C-band combination in the N77 channel. I, I just, I think. That's just me speculating. I guess it could happen before that. But it would seem like it would make sense. And you could see what, you know, um, how things are going there. Uh... Not, a, not bad performance, guys. Not bad. Um, we have high expectations here on the channel, so we would like to see the downlink throughput a little bit better. The uplink's decent. I'd say this is doable. Um, again, I'm not really testing for range. We're pretty close. Uh, we're just testing, you know, since they did the upgrade. Uh, but so far, so good. And actually, what I'll do is when I get back in the garage and the shop to get my car, I'll test it while I'm inside the garage to see what type of propagation it is because that'll be, like, on the other side of the street down a couple of blocks. And it'll be in one of those buildings. Actually, if you guys could see it, 
Uh, the building my car is in is right there where my finger is back there. Um, so I'll be testing that. And actually, uh, yeah, and here it is, 282 down, 52 up. I'm going to go ahead and do a Verizon video for you guys here too. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the testing. Let me know what you think of the upgrade and, uh, and how it performed. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications icon to miss an upload. And then links for everything going on with the channel down there in the description as well. All right, thanks again for watching. Words of motivation from the SMT. Every day is a new opportunity to be great. Go out there and be great.